So do you know, you don't need to let someone's opinion to become your reality. Because that person think you were not born from the right source, or you don't live with the right parent, or you, you are stepchildren, you are like a stepchild, or those people. Do you know, you don't need to listen to those things. You don't need to let those things affect you. Because if we are talking about people who has made it in this world, I will tell you, 60% of those people were the ones that were not living with their real parents or one of their parents. I will tell you that is it. So don't worry about what people will say around you. Oh, he's good for nothing. What are they good for? You tell me, what are they good for? What are they good for? Are they God? Did they made you? Did they even know where they came from? They're done. So why are you worried about it? Why are you worried about what people think or people will say about you, your actions, instead of you, yourself, making the right decision? You know, you can break the rules around the world and all over, but you can't break the rules in your subconscious or your conscience. Because if you break your own rules, your conscience will never let you sleep. That is how life is. The, the nature rules is like a big pole that you want to go around it. You can't pull it down, but the only thing you can do is associate yourself with it. So my friend, the ball is in your court. If you want to listen to those voices, those negative voices that in your ears, and when you go out there, you see them, they talk everything about you, it's negative out there, and you want it to affect you. The ball is in your court. But for me, as a motivational godfather, what I would tell you to do is, the best thing, or the best revenge in this world for those people is for you to succeed. Make it big, my Dream big and achieve it. And they will say, oh, we thought, my forget them. They will say whatever they will say. You will invite them to your house. They won't even come. Because you know why? They never thought you could make it. That's how it is. You give it to them, they won't take it because they never thought you could even have it. But you know God, that's the whole thing. They know God. So you don't need to let them tell you where you belong to. Because they don't belong to you as well. Because in your level, God hasn't made them to be in your level, but they don't know. Everyone have a story. But let your story be a unique one. I always love my mom. No matter how, people will say. No matter how, whatever, it goes around. I love my mom. I love my grandma. These are the people that were in my life when I was young. That's why I'm saying this. But don't tell me I don't love my wife. I do love my wife. But what I'm trying to let you know is when I was young, these are the people in my life. And when I hear the story about my mom and me, it makes me love her so much. Because she was young. She was young, and she gave birth to me. Though, history has gone. But I remember a time came I wasn't doing well at school. It was just a phone call from my mom, saying to me, Hey, son, you know when I gave birth to you, when you were in high school, when you were in this, like, you know, when you were in school before, you used to be really good. 
and everybody likes you. They know you smart. Like, you know, your IQ is working well, and I know you're a good person. What is happening? Though I thought I was dumb, like really dumb, like really, yeah, really, I, I thought I was dumb. But I, my mom's phone call changed my life. So I sat down and I said to myself, so, does that mean I've been really smart before? Or I was smart, smart child? Like, you know, my IQ was working before. So what happened? And I started studying every blessed day. Because she said, even though if you think you don't know, tell yourself you know. And you will know. Though my mom hadn't gone to any motivational school, nothing with motivation, but she said that to me. And this has led me up to this level. And people don't know where my source of energy or my motivation comes from. It's what my mom told me. So my friend, parent, anyone who is taking care of someone, just tell that person, that little thing, take a phone or sit the person down, talk to that person and say to the person, say good things to the person and you will know the impact it will make. My mom changed my life. Though I did change myself, but what she said to me changed my life. That is how life is. So it makes me always think I need to say something to her, like love her, show her the compassion. Because you know why? She didn't give up on me. So why should I give up on her? Now she need me. That's how life is. You don't give up on someone. When the person has lead you, to something. God bless you. May he keep you. May he shine his face upon you. And don't forget, the biggest notebook in the world is your head to succeed. Don't forget to pursue your vision with a mission and join it with an action. And we go straight down to the kingdom of success. A place where our parent believes in us. So believe in yourself. Don't let someone's reality become your real life. Don't let someone's opinion become your reality. God bless you.